Hello, my fellow scientists. Welcome to a very special episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lankin. I'm with the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose, and we are celebrating proud of my family week. Families come in so many different renditions in so many different ways. And the important part about it is these are all the people who care about us. And sometimes we take it for granted. So we're really going to put a highlight on it this week. And we're going to bring that love of family and science together for our activity today. So you may have already noticed that I've got something behind me that maybe looks a little out of place for what time of year it is. So even though we're sitting in June, this looks like maybe it needs to be more in a winter spot. <laughs> well, this actually has something to do with our experiment, believe it or not. So quick backstory for my family, we always make tree skirts for Christmas because we celebrate that holiday. So my grandmother started by making one for her and her husband when they came here from Italy. And she went ahead and sewn everything together and went and put that underneath the tree. Well, then when my dad came along, she made one for him. Then when I came along, of course, I got one as well. So every time that we have a new family member, we go ahead and make one of these. Well, the really cool part about it and the parts that we're gonna use in our experiment is all of the little bits here, the reflective sequins and the beads. So in every tree skirt that we have, there are some of those from other family members' tree skirts. So I have some in here that are from my grandmother's. I have some in here that are from my dad. I have some in our little bowl because we're going to use it in just a second. <laughs> so this is something that we do in our family in order to help us celebrate and pass down a tradition from generation to generation. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to take some of these sequins and actually do a science experiment with them? So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna take some of these the memories from my family and we're gonna make a kaleidoscope and we're going to experiment with reflected light. So there are a lot of different pieces that are involved in this. So you may need a little bit of help, another scientist, maybe an adult uh, to do all of these different things. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna show you all the different materials. Then we're gonna go ahead and make our kaleidoscope and then we'll talk about how this kaleidoscope works. You ready? Let's go for it.
Okay, did you guys have fun with that? Pretty cool, right? All right, so how does reflected light help this to work? Well, light is coming from the sun or a light source and then reflecting or bouncing off of all the different objects that I went ahead and glued onto our cardstock. Then those light beams are bouncing into the tinfoil triangular prism that we put on the inside and lined with tinfoil. Those light beams are then bouncing off of that tinfoil and then coming out to where we can see them with our eyes. So as I turned this to, those shapes changed because we were looking down through that tube. So whatever light was reflecting through the tube at the time, those are the shapes that we saw. And you may have seen also their reflections on the tinfoil around on the outside. So this kaleidoscope is a little bit different than what you may have used in the past. And how is it different? Well, a lot of times kaleidoscopes, this part of it is transparent and that's what the light passes through. Well, because the artifacts or the things that were important for my family weren't something that we could see through, weren't transparent, that's why I left that little space here so that the light could bounce off of here and get in and then go into our triangular prism on the inside. So for your kaleidoscope, look around your house and see if you can find little things that are important to your family to go ahead and use on your cardstock to make your kaleidoscope. We'll put a hashtag below so we can see what your kaleidoscope looks like and celebrate your family, what's important to you. So thank you for tuning in today on our very special episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka. Very much enjoyed my time. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And we will see you at our next episode. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.